Good morning. Um, I thought I would show you one of my next projects that I'm gonna be starting on, and it's right here. It is a Cessna 205, which is uh, kind of rare. I think they made them for two years. Uh, it is a fixed gear Cessna 210. Um, so, as you can see, <laughs> uh, no wings. Um, so this airplane has been sitting since 1985, uh, and the new owner who is here on the field uh, had it dismantled and shipped over, um, or he brought it over on a trailer. Um, so I wanted to show you some of the time capsuleness of this airplane because it has literally not been uh, cranked up um, or, um, or flown since 1985. So here's the panel, um, very original. Um, the radios, which you'll, I mean, if, if you don't know radios, these are uh, original 1960s um, radios. This is a Narco Mark 12. Um, these radios aren't even legal to be operated anymore. Um, uh, very old analog um, equipment. So pretty, pretty neat um, to see this. Um, you would never see this out um, in the wild. This is uh, a museum piece uh, for sure. The, the newest piece of equipment that I see in this airplane is this um, narco transponder. It's probably, it's from the late 70s. Um, this NAVCOM is probably from the late 70s as well. Everything else is 1960s. Um, so um, all of this is coming out. So I'm going to start dismantling this airplane um, today or tomorrow uh, and we're gonna be uh, clean slating everything, replacing all of the old wiring. So all the wiring on um, going throughout the entire aircraft will be replaced. Uh, and uh, it's gonna be getting a G3X, a 10 inch G3X, a G5, um, new radio stack, and then over here, an MFD G3X display. Um, all of the engine information will be on the G3X. Uh, and this airplane, uh, Garmin doesn't have the autopilot certified as a date now. Today, this is November uh, 22nd of 2022. Uh, but um, they've told me that it should be certified in the next six months. So I'm going to have the entire airplane wired for the new autopilot. I'll have the space for the autopilot already ready. So when it is certified, then all we have to do is install the, um, the autopilot head and the servos. And uh, he'll be... Um, he'll have an autopilot. Uh, one thing is neat. So this clock, uh, I, I wound it up and I wound it up actually five days ago and the time. So if you look at my watch here, this, it is almost exact. So that is just phenomenal that they're both, um, the same time still. So uh, I think we're going to keep the clock in this airplane just because it's neat. Um, so the only switches that I'm going to retain, I believe, and I might replace them just because they're so old, but I'm going to keep these switches in the same location. Uh, the mag switch will stay, but all of this will be relocated um, and replaced. I'm going to replace all of the controls. Um, so everything will be new. Um, the flap gauge will stay. So I can't get rid of the flap gauge. Um, but um, yeah, pretty neat. So I look forward to doing uh, working on this airplane. I'm really kind of excited about it. Uh, everything on the firewall side is going to be replaced as well. So all this wiring, um, the engine's out for overhaul right now. Since it's been parked for so many years, uh, it's getting overhauled. Um, it's going to be getting repainted, uh, new glass. Uh, so it's going to be a new airplane in a couple of months when it's done. So I'll keep you posted on it.